Hey there friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a mini book haul for you guys. Um, a couple of weeks ago I finished Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas which is like nearly 650 pages, just over I think. Um, and I'd been absolutely engrossed, absolutely loved it. Um, and it really got me back into the reading mood and vibe and I and I just was love it. I was in, in, loving reading. The problem being, after I read that, I went through my collection and all of the books that I haven't re yet read, apart from two, are non-fiction, are like self-help books, inspiration books, um, all that sort of vibe. Nothing was fantasy or nothing was just like fantasy, sci-fi, fa dystopian anything that would have been just been fun and relaxing and a new world to dive into. So I took a cheeky, a cheeky little trip to Waterstones and picked up three new books, two of which um, I knew in advance that I wanted to pick up and one of which was a total just grab off the shelf and hope, grab off the things on the table actually and hope for the best. So the first book is one that I've heard so much about on YouTube and on Booktube and so I knew instantly I was going to pick it up as soon as I planned to head in towards Stones and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake or Kendara Blake and um, this again is fantasy and it's about a island where um, every generation the Queen gives birth to triplets and they each have a different magical gift and uh, around the time of their 16th birthday they have to fight to the death and um, one sister has to kill the other two in order to become the queen and she is the next queen until she falls pregnant um, each as I say each of the, the girls has a gift and this world is ruled by those with magic and things like that so there are elementals who can control the elements naturalists who can control um, nature and animals and then poisoners who can, I think that's what they're called, yeah, poisoners who are immune to different poisons and also are really skilled at using poisons. And there was also two other gifts which are extremely rare. One is the war gift and one is the sight gift. And in this book, we follow the four girls in the run up to the year in which they must fight to the death of the throne. Um, the three sisters are called Mirabella, who is the elemental, Catherine, who is the poisoner, and Aaron So, who is the naturalist. And going into this book, you kind of assume that, that you're going to sort of take the side of one of them as soon as you start reading. Um, but the more you get into it, the more it's either really, really great writing or really, really bad writing. But you kind of, in, uh, as you go into it, you realise that this world is not what you think it's going to be. I'm about, this is the only one that I've started, and about 240 pages through this as I'm filming this at Hall. Um, and you have a lot of preconceptions and uh, when you go into this book because you assume one of them is going to be really one of them or two of them are going to be really evil one of them is going to be really good and you're going to root for that one but actually that's totally not the case and these queens are just totally not what you think and not what i expected at all so i'm really excited to finish this i may even finish this tonight actually so a review of this might be coming up really soon but as i say this was the one of the books that i was knew i was going to pick up straight away and then the second book that i picked up um, again, I knew I was going to get, and this is the second in a duology, and it is Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. I think I've done a full video review of the first book, which is called This Savage Song, um, so I'll link that in the description box. I absolutely love that book. Really, really, really enjoyed it. It was so great. It's about a world in which monsters exist, and they um, form from the uh, like dark or negative actions, like violent actions, and there are three different kinds of monsters, and we follow a girl called Kate, who is the daughter of one of the rulers, a part of this this city, who is sort of a gangster. And then we follow the son of the guy who runs, is in charge of the other side, who are trying to give people freedom and um, like save them from the monsters. But, and he is called August, but August is actually a monster and he is, he is the third type of monster, which is the most rare. Um, and that was the first book and then this book is sort of what happens next you know the war in v city as it's called massively go develops in the first book and at the end of it kate and august go their separate ways after some very dramatic events and some tragedy events 
here and this is the second book and I'm so excited to pick it up. This was actually in a buy one get one half price deal so that's why I picked the third book up but I'm really excited to get this, really excited to see what happens next with Kate and August. Um, they were just friends in the first book which I really enjoyed because you don't see that very often that a guy and a girl in a series can just be friends even in fantasy or dystopian or sci-fi where romance isn't necessarily the pinnacle you hardly ever see that there's always some sort of romance going on somewhere and in this series or in the first book anyway that wasn't the case so I'm super intrigued to see whether that continues in this book whether they even ever get reunited as they went their separate ways at the end of the last book um, and yeah this is this is a nice size too it's just over like a couple of pages over 450 pages which isn't horrendous you know you've read a lot of books and you're in deep with some series when you're saying 450 pages isn't that long it is really but oh well and the final book is one that I'd heard absolutely nothing about but I needed to pick up another one in the bar and get a half price or I didn't but I wanted to um, and a lot of the books that were in that were contemporary books and I'm just really not a fan of contemporary um, so I spotted this book however I think I thought it was something else there's a lot of books with a similar title to this rolling around at the moment so I think I might have thought it was one of those but I read the premise and thought you know what sounds cool sounds a bit like some of the others I've read before but I'll give it a go and it is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Edieme um, it's got the cover is pretty dang stunning if I do say so so I just googled it and there's a book called Daughter of Smoke and Bone which is by Lonnie Taylor and then there's a book called Sha um, Shadow and Bone which is the first in the Grisha verse by Lee Bardugo and I think those are the books that I was potentially merging into this one I say this one is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adieme um, and the, on the back of the book, all it says is they killed my mother, they took our magic, they tried to bury us, now we rise. Now, <laughs> ironically, this kind of feels like the premise from, ta from Throne of Glass. Um, reading the sort of synopsis at the front, um, it's about a girl called Zeely who is in a world where there are, I think, people there, people have different kinds of magic. So there are burners, tiders, reapers and um, there is a vengeful king who basically orders all people with magic to be killed and I think it's her story of what happens next um, which anyone that's read the throne of glass will know it sounds quite similar to um, but I'm really intrigued the cover as I say it's absolutely stunning and going off the cover and the guy's name this could be really stereotypical but it kind of seems like it might be set in maybe the African continent or something like that which is totally different for me um, I love it when I read a book last year when I was at uni which was set kind of in um, an Egyptian sort of Middle Eastern kind of world um, and this potentially might be an African kind of world which really excites me as I love reading books where it's kind of set in a different culture than what I'm used to or what I know um, even if they are fantasy I love it when they sort of take have flavours of this world but take them um, in a different direction and it's just really interesting so I am gonna this will be like the ne the third book that I pick up from this I probably will just literally make my way down the stack um, but if you've read this and you've got any thoughts or you've heard anything about it please let me know in the comments and um, I say it does sound really interesting I love the look of the cover but it does just sound very very like Throne of Glass in a lot of ways but we will see. Um, I I am gonna do a full. I have. I'm, I'm making myself do full video reviews of all of the books that I read this year. Um, I I read a book which is like a um, a hundred page self help book recently, which I'm not gonna do a review of. But all like sort of proper hard back, hard books that are, you know, this sort of booky book. I'm gonna be doing full video reviews of. So you will hear my thoughts about this eventually. Um hopefully quite soon um, but yeah I'm really intrigued by it actually as I say this is the one that I knew nothing about um, the title grabbed my eye but I think it's due to the fact that it sounds very and is the title is in fact very very similar sounding to those other ones so the one by Lee Bardugo and what's the other one called Lonnie Taylor are a very been very very popular on booktube loads of people have talked about them so it was probably just the names were in the back of my mind but I'm really interested to try this out. I love reading books and trying out new books that I know pretty much nothing about because it's always really interesting going into them and just kind of 
feeling your way around it as you go along rather than having sort of preconceptions. So that's it. Those are the three books that I picked up in my mini Waterstones book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me in the comments if you've read any of them, what your thoughts are, if you've got any recommendations for me based on these books. And really big bee just hit my bedroom window. That was a little bit scary. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. As they remember, like and subscribe if you did, and I shall see you guys really soon. Have a great day. Bye.